okay? This game contains intensive environments, flashing images, loud noises, jump scares, dark themes and violence. Fuck yes. How we doing guys, Pure Toronto Gamer here, and we're coming out with this one. It's called The Free Writer Director's Cut. Don't ask me what happened in the non-director's cut because I have no fucking clue. This is the first time I've seen this game. Somebody recommended it to me. I thought, why not? We need to get content on the channel. They said it was super scary, and that's what I'm into. I'm into super scary shit. This, apparently, you are a guy called Mark Wenzel. Uh, you are a famous writer, and your wife goes missing one day after your, I think it's, I want to say 10 year anniversary, I can't even remember the fucking epilogue to this or whatever it's called, anyway you're a guy Mark Wenzel, his wife's went missing, you're trying to find his wife, scary shit is going to happen, the free writer director's cut, let's get in about it. <laughs> <laughs> that was fucking loud, <laughs> that shit was loud man. Oh god, this is not good. It's the loud noises that scare you the most. Where's Mia? I don't know. Ooh. Get a flashlight, get a flashlight on, get a flashlight on. Oh god. Pick up the phone. I do pick it up. Can we pick this up? Yeah, we can pick that up. Okay. Spooky ass painting. Where are we going? It's 3 a.m. 3 a.m. 3 a.m. 3 I've just noticed. Fucking 3 a.m. No wonder a bad stuff's happening. No wonder bad stuff's happening. It's 3 a.m. Let's get gold soap. How rich is this guy? Let's get gold tiles and shit. Why is there a sink? Like just in your dining room? Why the fuck do we have this? Why? Why? Just why? No. That, that, that's clearly Groma. Chroma? What? Chroma key fucking was? Let's see. Ah, you've got a kid? Nah, nobody mentioned anything about a kid. Bet you it's the kid that's fucking kidnapped your wife. Turned into a demon. Always happens in these type of games. Right, so far we've came across nada. Nothing. Nothing at all that is helpful. Got some bins here. What's this? Why would I go into the basement? Do you know what? I was just asking myself that same question. Why the fuck? Would I go into the basement? In a dark ass house that has clearly got something possessed in it. That is a very, very, very bad idea. Let's head up the stairs. You've got some freaky ass paintings on your house. Ah, some energy saving light bulbs there, that's what I like to see. Saving the environment. What is happening with this? This? What is? Where's the war? What is happening with the war? This, this must, this is a glass window. That is cool design, but looks fake as fuck. And we can't leave. Such a shame. Or else I would have been out that door. This is locked. <laughs> oh, okay. That's locked, but <laughs> what the fuck, man? What the fuck? <laughs> okay. Something has crashed. Something smashed the window. No. It came through downstairs. Hello. Is anybody in here? Maybe it came through the kitchen. Somebody smashed the plates. Tablet? That wasn't there a minute ago. I met him, I met Mark at his, I'm not sorry, book signing event. That's the best day of my life, to finally meet the best writer in the whole world. And my biggest crush. He's so awesome. I love him so much, I even took a selfie with him. I'm thinking about it, framing it with the caption, Mia Summers, with the best offer in the world. I really wish he noticed me, and I would have changed it to the best husband in the world. Huh? I thought Mia was your wife? Move to continue? What? This is confusing. I thought she already was your wife. Okay, the chair just moved. Bad stuff is happening a lot now. 
I have you murdered her. Ah! Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, he noticed me, he actually did. Okay, I need to calm down. A few days ago I made an interview with my sister Megan about how much I love Mark's work, and I'm probably the biggest fan of all time, and it got aired on her news network. Mark saw it and reached uh, to Megan so we can arrange another interview, but this time he will be in it too so he can meet me in person. Oh, that's, that's how you met her then, right? Well, technically you met her at your book signing, uh, but obviously you met her through the news interview. Right, there's nothing in here. Anyways, what the fuck? I'm getting caught up, I'm getting caught up, chat. Let's head it this way. Uh, uh, uh. What the fuck was that? Was that the basement door? What the fuck was that? That was a door opening? Oh, it was this door. That is mental. That is a cool windy. Some male fake ass Samsung TVs. What? It's a wee monkey toy. I bet it's you, ain't you? I bet you're doing all this shit. I bet you're possessed or something. Uh, some more freaky ass paintings. Right, let's grab this. The, what? No, 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 no. He, I'm crying, you still can't believe it. I need to breathe slowly, that's unbelievable. A few minutes ago, Mark met my dad to ask him if... I want to marry him, yes, that's real. I myself wouldn't believe it if I didn't eavesdrop. They still, they're still talking downstairs. I really hope it's not a dream. I can't type anymore, my hands are shaking so much. Something, chap, something. Something, actually chap, something, two seconds. Ah! Whoop! Flashlight, 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 flashlight. No, 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 no. Go to 5 past 3, please go to 5 past 3. 3 M's too fucked, 3 M's fucked. Bad shit's happening a lot. That's still locked. Oh my god. Oh fuck the chandelier. There goes my energy saving bulbs. The chairs! What the fuck is happening to the chairs? Getting attacked. Best two weeks of my life. Not only am I spending my honeymoon in my best resort in the world, but I'm also spending it with the most beautiful, handsome, awesome man, awful husband in the world. I alright, him. Calm down, fuck's sake. Can't say the same for him. He doesn't look happy since he's two weeks away from his job and often finishes his new book. I know Dad kind of forced him into stay in a resort. Yes, Dad owns VIP resort. But it's dad's honeymoon gift, so why not? So, we well, were kinda pissed off that we missed two weeks work. I don't know what he means man, because I missed a couple of YouTube uploads, you know what I mean? It's, it's, it's heartbreaking. Actual heartbreaking. Oh, fuck! I thought somebody was stoning there. I thought somebody was stoning that blue dress right there. Um, what the fuck? <laughs> but oh shit, oh shit. <gasps> I just, what? Yeah, I need some of this to wipe the shit that just flew at Mars. God damn. That basement better be fucking cool. Huh? Excuse me? The basement's still open yet. Was that squeaking noise? You! I fucking knew it was you! I told you it was him! You wee monkey bastard. Right, that is just no freaky at all. No! <laughs> you are at the wind up. Oh! What the fuck? No! We're biting the bullet, we're biting the bullet. Uh! 
The flashlight's not working. Oh, fuck. What? That's a mannequin. That's a mannequin. It's a mannequin. Pick up the torch. Pick up the torch. Turn it on, turn it on. Three stuck. What the actual fucking hell? Right, this must be your wife's sewing room. Unless she was like some sort of artist or dressmaker or something. Is this implying that you were like controlling or something? Are you kept her captive? Uh, his new book's really weighing him down. He's recently angry all the time because of his publishing deadlines. Yesterday morning he went full rage on me because I accidentally broke a plate and afternoon he almost hit me because I fell asleep on the couch while watching the TV. He said the static noise scared him. Ah, the fuck? He even throws a chair at me for no reason. I'm sure he's doing this out of stress. Wait a minute. The first thing we heard was a plate crashing in the kitchen, right? Yesterday morning he went through rage because it accidentally broke a plate, right? We heard that. That was the first scare. Uh, he fell asleep on the couch while watching the TV. The tele came on, made this crap or sell with a static noise. And he threw a chair at me. We were walking downstairs and the chair got through at us. You've killed your wife. Guaranteed. She's taking revenge on you. What is these paintings about though? Seriously, look at that. That is fucked, man. Your wife is definitely taking revenge on you. In the form of a fucking mad blacked out demon looking thing. <laughs> it's the jump scares that get you. This game's going it in droves. I'm loving it. My wee heart's going about 900 miles an hour. I don't know why I always go back to this bathroom for some reason. And I still can't kind of believe there's just a fucking bathroom sink just right here. That makes no sense. What? Archaeologist? Archaeologist? What? What? Let's, let's just take a moment to reflect what I just said there. Archaeologist. Oh my god. I meant architect, right? What kind of fucking architect would build a fucking sink just right here? Hello? Please, go away. Stop chapping my way. Okay. <laughs> oh, this game. This game. This game, please. Please. Fine. I wanted them there anyway. They were getting in the way. That's perfectly fine. I'm good with that placement. We're all good with that placement. Uh, the basement's still not opened. You mean there's still places to explore here? Like we've been everywhere though. And it seems that we can't get up the stairs now. Like this is completely blocked. So there's no more going up the stairs, so that only leaves one room, and that's this room here. Let's... Let's scary commence, please! Doors locked! Fuck off! No! 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 Yeah, you can fuck yourself! My phone! My phone, please! Hello? Please? 999? No! 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 Guess what? It's almost time. Almost time for what? Why? Why? Yeah. I don't. I don't understand what is happening right now. You've been acting really weird. Done. Done deal. You've killed your wife. 100% confirmed. Oh fuck. Mark kept saying that this house was small and old. To be honest, it wasn't that small or old. So I got the best gift for him. A new house. That's very fucking kind of you there. I talked to Dad yesterday about how stressed Mark is and how much it will help him if he gets a better house. So he bought a new house for from his real estate. 
Right, okay, your dad must be super rich. He owns like a VIP resort and he's just buying your hussies. That's an awesome dad. He even insisted that it will be a gift from him, uh, so he can keep it writing in a new atmosphere. I will always support him no matter what happens. Aww, uh, see that is a nice wife man. I sound like a fucking prick. Get shit done. That Maybe that's the motto you should have had Mark. Get shit done instead of taking it out on your wife. She, you deserve to be killed after, honestly. Deserve it. Oh, fuck! <laughs> Just as I say that, we get possessed and took to the basement. Oh fuck, here we go, he's gonna get killed. What the hell is that? Wait, that is a body being dragged away, right? That is annoying, that noise. Whoa, that was spooky. That noise is so fucking annoying. My ears are ringing, I tell me about it. F button for flashlight. Oh god, we're in the basement. They're awesome. Everywhere we go, everything's spooky happening. He's there. You. Fucking you. I knew it was you. Mark and I are finally back home from hospital after the car crash where he broke his leg. He drove us home really drunk. Prick. Drink driving. You are a prick. After the party celebrating his new book, The Freewriter. Oh, this, this is what this game's called. He kept talking about his how this book will clear all his debts. When I asked him why he hides that, he got angry and accidentally crashed. A one year anniversary, it's a one year anniversary, I say 10 at the intro of this game. Apparently it's one, which clearly means that your relationship was shite. If he's murdered you or something, or he's beaten your ass after a year, the guy is an asshole. Uh, one year anniversary is tomorrow and he's planning a surprise, as he said, but I think my surprise will be better when he knows that I'm pregnant with his child. Right enough, we did see kid paintings up there, I forgot about that. Locked. Well, I guess we're going back up to the house again. Okay. <laughs> you don't want to remember? Remember what? I can't, my leg hurts like hell. Oh, we did see painkillers lying about. Uh, water bottle. What kind of fucking basement is this? Oh, this is one of these games, man. That's one of these games. You could do in a hallway, there he's out, something spooky's happening. Monkey boy's back. What? Out my way, please. I think this. Oh, you can't run. Right, okay. I was wonder why that kept coming up all the time. But it seems to me you can't run. There's Monkey Boy again. We've looked in the hallway. Oh, no. We've looked the hallway. BTS. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Your PT style. Oh, we've missed it on the wall and over. Right, it must have said over and over. The fuck is the breathing about? Locked. Oh, God. Listen, I didn't mean it right. I'm sorry. Oh, we're getting dragged towards her. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. The fuck? Oh, it's just a hallway again. We're upside down. We're on the fucking roof. We're on the roof. Something wrong? Eh, uh, yep. We're on the fucking roof. What? What is this? You're the reason for this. It was always wrong. Ugh! <laughs> Oh, I'm trying to run, man. Can't. What the fuck? What the fuck? Something breathed on me. Something breathed on me. Something is breathing on me. We need to find some sort of crowbar. We've got a spade right now, right enough. 
but as everybody well knows, a spade is not a crowbar. And apparently we need a crowbar. Ah! Oh, there's a crowbar! Ah, yes! There we go! That was fucking solid. Right, I think we can bust this open now, can't we? Or do we bust this? We bust the lock open on the... The thing, unless we smash that away. I don't know man, shit is getting confusing. Ah, we bust this open. Sledgehammer, that's what I'm talking about. Let's make mincemeat of this door. Who the fuck's doing that? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we just had to help off a wee ghost there. Like, how the fuck do you meant to hold that sledgehammer like this? Stoning in this position? Nah, that makes no sense to me at all. <laughs> oh, God. You buried her in the basement? <laughs> what? You just killed yourself? Upon hearing a gunshot, the police arrived at the house where the shot is heard and witness a horrible crime scene with two bodies found in the basement. They belong to the very famous writer Mark Wenzel and his wife Mia Summers, whose daughter of her own... What? Who's the daughter of our town mayor? After the investigation, the police confirmed that this is not a housebreaking situation, but that rather a homicide where the husband shoots the wife, burned the, and buried her in the basement. And after what looks like regretting his decision, he shot himself. They also found a will note and that the wife was drugged and pregnant before the incident. We can speculate a few things. The husband had financial problems. He marries a rich fan, drugging and forcing her to give him all her money with a will note after she trusts him, then killing her. While the husband was trying to erase the evidence, he walked upon his wife's diary tablet to find out that not only he killed his wife but also his unborn child. He tried to dig up her up but it was already too late so he shot himself but God was has another plan because the bullet didn't kill him. It sent him into a coma making him stuck between worlds and possibly his own purgatory. We all hope he gets well soon and he, and he can face the true punishment in court. This is Megan Summers from MCT News. Good night. That's the sister. That is the sister. Whoa, man, that was awesome. That was a cool game. That was a cool wee storyline and everything. Wow, that was brilliant. Well, guys, that is it for the free writer director's cut. That game is awesome. It is free for Game Jolt. So make sure you get over there. Make sure you download it and make sure you support this developer because I love that. That was awesome. I could play that again. That was fun. That was definitely awesome. Me storyline to it. It was cracking. If you did enjoy the video, guys, don't forget to smash that like button. If you haven't already, check the rest of my content out and smash that sub button. Become part of the PTG army. Don't forget to share the video out, guys. It gets the channel noticed. It gets more subscribers in uh, and it just keeps the channel rolling. Don't forget to check out all my social media platforms guys it's all in the description below the twitter the twitch the facebook everything go ahead and get all of you follow and also if you're a scottish content creator don't forget to check out indie scots that's going to be it for this one guys i've been pure talking gamer you guys have been awesome and i'll see you in the next one peace